Do you have an athlete that needs to be the best athlete on the team in order to be confident? Hi, this is Dr. Patrick Cohn. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from a parent who's concerned that her athlete is playing too safe. You're watching the Sports Psychology Podcast. Here's the question of the week. My son plays for a top soccer team in the state. He does great at practice and he does amazing in other sports when he's one of the best on the team. Right now, he's not the best on the team. And he has this fear of messing up during a game and thus plays less confidently. So how can I help him with this? Okay, thank you for your question. This is very common for young athletes to play tentatively and play safe when they're on a new team or when they think they're being evaluated by teammates or when they're being evaluated by coaches, for example. They tend to play more conservatively for fear of not messing up or fear of not making mistakes, maybe even fear of looking silly or embarrassing themselves. So it may look like your athlete is not playing with full confidence, but I'm here to tell you your athlete is really just playing safe, playing tentative, and playing cautious out of fear of making mistakes on that new team. All right, so what do you do about it? If your athlete is confident in one situation, but not confident in another situation, what does that say? Well, it's situational confidence. We call that fragile confidence or reactive confidence. If your athlete has confidence in his or her skills when he or she competes, then they should have confidence in those skills every single time they compete. In other words, the situation, who your athlete is playing with, the quality of your athlete's teammates, and the fact that there's some good team, and the fact that there's some good players on that team, shouldn't influence how your athlete thinks about his or her skills. What do I mean by that? Well, often athletes look at other athletes and then make comparisons and worry, well, I'm not as good as these other athletes, so I can't take risks out here. But that's false. Your athlete has to believe in his skills regardless of what situation your athlete is playing in and regardless of the level of his teammates that he plays with. As far as worrying about making mistakes, I'd want your athlete to go out there and focus on making plays. So there's two type of athletes that I tend to see out there. One athlete is in avoidance mode. They have an avoidance mindset. They're afraid to make mistakes. They're afraid to make turnovers. They're afraid to miss that shot on net. They're afraid to get beat on defense. And thus, they focus on avoiding those things altogether. Then there's the other type of mindset, which is more of a success mindset, a go-for-it mindset, where that athlete, in his mind, sees himself making good plays, visualizes making good plays, sees the ball going into the net, sees the ball going from foot to foot, and challenging people successfully on tackles. So that's the mindset that you want your athlete in. You want your athlete to focus on the play he wants to make. So one of the things you want to do is operationalize what does it look like when he's playing confidently and aggressively and taking risks. Then operationalize those behaviors and talk to your athlete about just that. For example, if your athlete, when playing confidently, tends to go and challenge players and puts pressure on the ball immediately, well, that's one behavior you want your athlete to set as an objective or a goal out there is to put pressure on that ball immediately and just go for it without thinking about whether it's the right time to go for it. Hey, thanks for your question. If you want some information about mental training or mental coaching, visit peaksports.com and click on Contact Us. Check out our mental coaching programs there. We also have Soccer Confidence 2.0 that we recently produced, which you can check out also at peaksports.com. Thanks.